if you are slightly nervous about telling people about your film idea and you don't want to let anyone read your script because you're afraid people might steal it, then I'm going to be explaining in this video why this is something that you don't need to worry about at all. Plus, if you like videos like this, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hey, what's up everyone? Jordan Bunton Williams here and I am the founder of 100 Day Film Financing, the number one training program helping filmmakers raise funding for their films. And today, I'm going to be talking about why you don't need to worry about people stealing your film idea and also why you don't need to worry about letting people read your script. Okay, so there is this huge unnecessary fear with some filmmakers who don't want to tell anyone about their next upcoming film to, uh, to, to protect their film from getting stolen. And there are even people who refuse to run crowdfunding campaigns to raise the funding for their films because they think, wait a minute, if I were to do a crowdfunding campaign to raise the funding for my film, then as soon as that crowdfunding campaign goes live and I click launch and it's on the internet now and the whole world can see it, then people are going to steal it and someone else might make the film before I do. Which is it's a crazy idea, it's like, that's a, a crazy thought to have, right? Given how many people have already done crowdfunding campaigns for their films, raised the money and then made the film with no problem. It's a, it's a crazy idea. So let me just explain why this should be the least of your worries particularly as a filmmaker. So let's just take a huge company like Apple, right? So multi, billion, uh, probably even, I think Apple's a trillion dollar company now. I don't know, billion, trillion, but Apple are huge, loads of money. And so Apple created this iPhone, right? And if you go on Google and type in fake iPhone, you will find all of these results of people trying to copy Apple and they are creating and selling fake iPhones. And Apple is, is a huge company that's worth trillions of dollars, right? So if a company like Apple, with all the money that they have, if they can't protect themselves against people uh, copying them and stealing, and stealing their ideas, then what does that say about people like you and me? It means that if, you know, uh, Apple and, and Windows and, uh, and Samsung, if they can't protect themselves against, against piracy and people, and people copying their ideas and stealing from them, then we can't do it either. But guess what? These big companies don't need to worry about people, people trying to copy them or steal their ideas because it's not the idea that matters, it's the execution of the idea that matters. So, say for example, Apple created this iPhone, right? And the scammers out there created the fake iPhone. But because Apple are so much better at executing on this product, this product is a lot more valuable than the fake iPhone. So, naturally, people gravitate to and buy the actual uh, real iPhone. And let's even relate this to the film industry. So there are some films that you can pay for on uh, on Amazon Prime Video, right? But I guarantee you, some, some of those films that you would need to pay for on Amazon Prime Video, you could watch the exact same thing for free on some of these illegal pirate websites. But the thing is, with these illegal websites, uh, the quality of the film is is not that great and it's it's pixelated and it's fuzzy and the film takes ages to load and halfway through watching the film you get all of these pop-ups on your computer screen which just interrupts the film uh, which could even give your computer a virus um, let's not even talk about viruses right now uh, so yeah so because of all of this people still choose to pay the money via Amazon Prime because the experience watching the film will be so much better because Amazon are better at executing on the idea of streaming films. So to summarize, how do we combat against people ripping and stealing our ideas? And the answer is you can't, <laughs> right? There's, there's no way to, to stop people trying to steal your ideas. 
So the only thing we can do is make sure that we focus on executing on the idea a lot better than anyone else. So with that said, if you would like to make your own films at the highest level possible and you want to execute on that film better than anyone else, and you need to raise funding for that film, then I also have a free webinar that walks you through the exact tried and tested system that has been proven to successfully raise funding for film projects. And the link to that webinar is in the description below. So click that link in the description. It is a free one hour masterclass that goes in depth. You will love it. Uh, especially if you are interested in raising money for your own films. Thanks so much. Bye.